Welcome back, fourth grade, lesson 118. We are getting so close to the end of math, guys. Hang in there with me, you can do this, finish strong. Let's go ahead and start with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the day. Thank you, Lord, for just blessing our time together as a class. We love you, Lord, amen. All right, guys, so today we are going to extend a lesson that we learned last week. Last week, we talked about dividing by two-digit numbers when they were multiples of 10. So we divided by 20 or 30 or 40. Today, we're going to extend that a bit, and we're going to divide by two-digit numbers that do not end in zero. So we are no longer using multiples of 10. We're um, using a regular two-digit number. So the process, though, is going to be the same the same process. So this should be a fairly quick and easy lesson today. The difference today is that there's going to be a little bit of trial and error. Well, what does that mean, trial and error? It means you try something and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't and you have to go back a step. That is what we're going to talk about a little bit more about today. So let's review first of all, when we divide, when we have long division, we divide we multiply, we subtract, we bring down, and then we bring it back to the top, and we continue that process until we have nothing else to bring down. So let's go ahead and look at our first problem. I'm going to do these on the board. They are also in your math book. We are in lesson 118. And you are going to begin on page 545 and then continue on 546 for those um, these examples. So you can look up here or you can look in your book and just listen, whichever one works best for you. So let's go ahead and start. We have 95 divided by 31. We remember that first we divide. So 31, how many times does that go into nine? Well, it doesn't because 31 is bigger than nine. That tells us we need to look at the 95. How many 31s are in 95? Now last week, when we divided by multiples of 10, I told you to really just think about how many in the first digit go into the first digit. So three, if you just look at the three and the nine, nine divided by three, that would be three. So if you think that, that will help. Go ahead, how many, that will give us a place to start. So we're gonna start with three. There are, th we're gonna think, we're gonna assume that there are three 31s in the 95. Now we're going to multiply. Three times one equals three. Three times three equals nine. Now here we need to stop. This is where we're gonna talk a little bit about trial and error. If the number that we just wrote, the 93, is bigger than 95, then that would tell us that we had made a mistake and that we guessed too high. Remember we talked about making an educated guess? That doesn't just mean to guess some wild number. Let's see, how many 31s are in 95? I think there's 5,000. No, that's not a reasonable answer. We want a reasonable guess that we think is pretty close, but we don't know for sure until we carry on to the next step. If this 93 had been bigger than the number we were subtracting from, we would know we had guessed too high, but we didn't. We actually chose correctly. Our next step is subtract. Five minus three equals two. Nine minus nine is zero. We don't need to write that. There is nothing to bring down, so we are finished. The answer is three with a remainder of two. We have three remainder two. 95 divided by 31 is three remainder two. Now let's move on to the next problem. This is the next example in your book. You're gonna to need to turn the page over to 546 if you're in your book. 246 divided by 43. 43, does that go into two? No. Does it go into 24? No. It means we're gonna to have to look at 246. I'm gonna recommend as a starting point that you cover your last digit and think 24 divided by four. That gives us a good place to start. What is 24 divided by four? It is six. 
So we're going to start with 6. Remember, we're dividing into this whole number, so the 6 is going to go all the way over here. Next, we multiply. 6 times 3 equals 18. Notice where I put the 1 here. We're going to need to remember to add that back in. 6 times 4 equals 24, plus 1 is 25. Now we're going to stop and look. Is 258 larger than 246? It is. That means we started too high. So I'm going to need to stop. I've made a mistake and take a step back. 43 does not go into 246 six times because that would have been too large of a number. We're going to go down by one. Let's try five. Five times three equals 15. Five times four equals 20 plus one is 21. Stop. Is 215 larger than 246? No, it is not. That means I can continue now. I can subtract. 6 minus 5 equals 1. 4 minus 1 equals 3. 2 minus 2 equals 0. Our next step is bring down. There's nothing else to bring down. Our answer is 5 with a remainder of 31. Now that remainder is pretty big. I need to make sure it's not too big. Is my remainder bigger than the number we're divided by? No, my remainder is okay then. The answer is five with a remainder of 31. Dividing by two digit or larger numbers does require a little bit of a strategy I call guess and check. <laughs> Guess gives you, gives you a good place to start when we're dividing, but sometimes we choose a number that is too big or too small, and we end up with numbers that are either too big or too small. Let's try the next example. Example three in your book. Again, we're on page 546 if you're choosing to follow along in your book. Next, we're going to divide 487 by the number 21. All right, 487 divided by 21. 21, does it go into four? No, four is smaller than 21. Does 21 go into 48? Yes, 48 is bigger than 21. Let's round this to 20. How many 20s would be in 48? How many twos would be in four? 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Here we're going to stop. Is this number larger than the 48? Nope, it's not. We're good. We can continue and subtract. 8 minus 2 equals 6. Bring down. Do we have anything to bring down? Yes, we do. We're bringing down the 7. Come back to the top. Divide. 67 divided by 2. 21, I mean. I'm sorry, 21. How many 21s are in 67? Cover the ones place. That might give us a good place to start. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Let's give that a try. 3 times 1 equals 3. 3 times 2 equals 6. Is 63 bigger than 67? Nope. We're good. We can continue. 7 minus 3 equals 4. There's nothing else to bring down. Our answer is 23 with a remainder of four. All right, let's try another example. We're gonna move now into um, the practice set. Let's do a few of our practice set. Let's do A. 128 divided by 32. Does 32 go into 1? No. 1 is smaller than 32. Does 32 go into 12? No. 32 is, is much bigger than 12. So that means we have to divide into 128. Let's think. 
How many, let's round that. How many 30s would be in 120? How many 30s? How many 3s would be in 12? Four. Let's try four. We'll give it a shot. Four times two equals eight. Four times three equals 12. Oh, look at that. The numbers are the same. We have no remainder. Our answer is four. That was simple. Let's try B. 90 divided by 21. Does 21 go into nine? Nope, 21 is bigger than nine. So 29 has to go into 90. Think, how many twos are in nine? There are four. Let's start with four. Four times one equals four. Four times two equals eight. Is 84 larger than 90? Nope, we're good. Subtract. Zero minus four, regroup. 10 minus four is six. We have a remainder of six. Go ahead and um, do the next several lesson practice problems and ask your parent to check them before you move on to your written, pra written practice. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and tell you I want you to pause the video. I want you to do C, D, E, and F. I want you to pause the video, do those four problems, turn the video back on. I'm going to write the answers only on the board. Check your work. If you didn't get the right answer, do the problems again. All right, so turn it off and don't turn it back on until after you have done the problems. And then you will find the answers right here on the board. All right, so your answers should have been for net for C, two with a remainder of 18, for D, five with a remainder of 40, E is 21 with a remainder of 19, and F is 50 with a remainder of five. If you missed any of those four practice problems, I want you to do them again until you come up with the correct answers. After that, go ahead and move in to your written practice. Have a great day, guys. Hope to see you soon.